What's going on everyone? Juice Bags here and welcome back to some Orcs Must Die 3. We are closing out the finale of the main campaign here on Riftlord and we are getting those five skulls. So we're here at the Order Temple. Let's get it done. Now for this map, we're going to bring along the Stone Staff with increased secondary range. The Jar of Ghosts. The Mana Rage Trinket. The Trap Reset Trinket that heals barricades. Saw Blade Launchers with Bleed. Spike Walls with Stun. The Ceiling Laser. Barricades that take reduced damage. Brimstone with Arcane. And the Tar Trap. Now, we're going to do this one exactly how we did War Mage difficulty. Now, I got to say, I got a few comments saying people were having trouble with these barricades being destroyed. And I tried several different barricade placements uh, that could possibly cause some aggro here. And I was unable to find any way for these barricades to take damage shy of like standing here with a dynamite archer shooting at you or an ogre cleaving at you, whatever the case is. So if you barricade exactly like I did right here, you're not going to have any issue with your barricades taking damage. Uh, additionally, right here, you want to go directly through the column to the wall. Don't offset them. Put them exactly like this. Uh, little things like having a barricade just slightly off place can do strange things to the AI and pathing of enemies here in OMD3. And basically, we are setting it up where everything that comes in has to come down this hallway. But we don't want to fight them right here. So, with that in mind, we are going to block this path off as well. And then now, everything will have to come along through this way. And we have got just an absolutely delicious little killing corner right here. And this is where we're going to set up. So, we're going to go ahead and go with two spike walls up top. Uh, we're going to go with some saw blades. Let's get uh, some barricades down. Now, we will be doing kind of uh, like a barricade cushion strategy uh, where we have double uh, rows of barricades and we use that to soak up some of the explosive damage. Uh, however, we are going to have to get sweaty here right in the first wave. So we're going to set it up the best we can to deal with the bads. So we're going to start off with something like this. So we got our two spike walls. One saw blade launcher. We got a couple of ceiling lasers as we do have armored ogres. And we've just got our three barricades. So let's just go ahead and let it fly. And let's go greet these guys out front. Now our goal out front is, first off, don't run all the way back. Just die. It's going to save you so much of a running time. But our goal here is to take down at least one of these fire elementals. Uh, there's going to be lots of fire elementals and fire lords coming here in the first wave. And we're just going to ignore everything else on the field and kind of run right to these fire elementals and get these guys blazed up. Now, um, we've got a fire, the Fire Lord down right at the beginning. We do have another group. I think it's Fire Elementals. Yeah, these are just Fire Elementals. Oh, we got a Knoll Hunter right here. Now, one thing important I wanted to note, too, this is the current build of the game. So this is after... The saw blade launchers and the uh, ceiling lasers got changed. So this is the most current version of the game. And additionally, you noticed a little wonkiness with our um, our petrify from the stone staff. And this is something I'm assuming is probably going to be hot fixed, but it is a little weird with your stone staff right now. So you can petrify enemies and they will kind of spin on you. So you want to watch your headshots and make sure you're still uh, doing your best to get them in there. So um, let's see. Let's just go ahead and burn it down. Now we want to blow everything we've got right here. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and drop a jar of ghosts right now. And my goal here is to watch any ogre charges because I don't want uh, little guys getting thrown over the ledge. But, and, and there it goes, it happened anyway. But I do want to make sure that I'm burning everything and being conscious of these guys that do get tossed. So a little, uh, little error there as I was explaining what not to do. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and pop our mana rage. And do we wanna pop our trap reset yet? Now let's wait because I know there's going to be some elementals coming in that are going to do a little bit of barricade damage. So we'll wait on the trap reset trinket, but you see we got 3700 now, so we can 
start dishing out a little bit more pain. So let's get a few saw blade launchers there and just focus on staying alive and burning these enemies down. Now, you do have a crazy, crazy long part time on this one, so if you do take a death, it's not going to be the end of the world. Uh, you're going to have time to, to run back. You may have to burn through a few enemies and fight your way back to your kill box. Uh, however, you know, obviously, try not to die, y'all. <laughs> but if you do, it's not going to be the end of your run. Uh, use your Jar Ghost literally every single time it's up. Watch those Dynamite Archers. Those guys are yellow dots on the minimap, of course. So make sure you get in and get out. Uh, get out of range of your barricades for when those guys start shooting. So uh, the annoying part about this uh, build, of course, is you're going to hear enemies in the Rift Room over and over and over again throughout the entire thing. And um, yeah, <laughs> we're going to do our best to still get through it here. I'm still saving the trap reset trinket. Um, I got plenty of time. I could actually run down and get a little heal, but of course I got lured away by a skull. Let's go ahead and uh, run down and get a, a little heal going here. Uh, so we've got a little bit of time. We can get ourselves back up to full, and I'm just going to run the route back through. Now you see we got 3,400, so let's just keep on building it out. Um, I want as much damage as I can right here. I don't want to have to uh, build back behind this at all. So I'm going to get this completely filled out right along this area. Uh, as I mentioned, we're going to have double rows of barricades up front here, and that's going to let us soak up some of that elemental damage. Uh, we're just going to keep burning them up. We're going to keep using our Jar of Ghosts literally every time it's up. And there we go, we got us a happy ending to wave one. So let's go ahead and get our double barricades in place. So we've got our cushion there now. Uh, we can go ahead and throw in a spike wall. I'm putting the spike wall up high. So you will be wanting to be conscious of that. Now in wave two and in wave six, we're gonna have rifts spawning behind our kill box. Uh, we've got tons of time to deal with these. So we're just going to want to do that. In fact, the one for wave six, we could set up a little kill box for them and kind of make it a little bit trivial. But for this first one, you are going to want to come in and handle these enemies. Uh, it's just, it's a pretty easy little pack. There's a couple of heavies, mainly light and medium orcs. So no problem at all burning through these guys. And then you can just rush right back over to your kill box. Of course, after you get those cleared, the wave is cleared and the rift is gone or that portal is gone. Now, the stone staff is just such your friend. Anytime orcs are lining up like this, as the stone staff does pierce and it will go through an entire row of orcs. So they're running at you in a straight line. Make sure to take advantage of that. Uh, we got an armored ogre coming in. I thought we had one in the first wave, but apparently not. Uh, we've got an Ar Armored Ogre rolling in right now, though. Uh, I'm getting a lot of ar archer shots here, so let's just run up and drop a jar. But then let's kind of take a little cover. Uh, we will want to use that trap reset as soon as those elementals go off, and that will heal those barricades back up to full. And uh, it's pretty much good game. We're just waiting for the enemies to come out. You see the little jankiness with the stone staff there. Uh, the Null Hammers do a little bob thing. They got a little crazy bob thing going on. Uh, let's get a little slow up front to help out these saw blade launchers just a touch. Uh, we can get some more laser beams in down in the back. And we need a little bit more coin before we can close the deal there. Uh, we got lots more enemies coming though. Now, as I mentioned, the part time on this one is super, super generous. Uh, we should end with at least 10 minutes left. Uh, maybe even more, so don't sweat it if you die or if you have to run around somewhere or do some things. You're all good. You know, you've got a ton, a ton of time to deal with things here. So uh, we got an ogre coming. Let's just go ahead and drop the jar to greet that ogre as he pushes in. And then with the increased range on that stone staff secondary, you can go right through the double rows of barricades without any issue at all. And uh, make sure you're CC in that entire pack. Now, we aren't getting any massive combos, but we're getting some decent combos, and that means we're getting some pretty good coin. So we're going to have lots of coin to replace any barricades that get blown up, and there will be barricades that get blown up, there is no doubt, as the fire elementals are pretty hot and heavy on this one for sure. 
So just going to keep spraying it down. Um, you know, every map is the same way. The more you get it built out, the easier the run is going to become. And we are just going to keep building this one out. And we're going to make a big old horseshoe or a U-turn here. And we're going to do that by barricading uh, kind of like this. We're going to go something like that. So now the enemies have to come down and around and up and out. Now this is also going to give us some crossfire here with saw blade launchers. Uh, we got the lasers. We're going to have some more ceiling traps down. Uh, the sky's the limit here and we are able to really jack this one up. Now once we get this area completely decked, then I'm going to focus on getting some upfront damage in. Uh, we're going to go ahead and drop that jar and then step on back. Now uh, as I mentioned, the increased range on the stone staff secondary allows you to just easily control this pack. I'm doing my best to try to keep everything in front of that first spike wall. Now things will push through, however, uh, gonna try to just keep everything right there. Now uh, let's see, what else do we need? Well, we need another saw blade launcher in that little gap there. Let's point it this way. We can throw another one in there. We can put one, let's put one say like that. We can throw another one here pointed down. Um, we can go one there. We can go two here, one up, one down. So uh, we're going to create just a massive little killing area. Uh, that is just no doubt about it. And uh, just going to go ahead and finish to build it out. So we're only wave three now. So we've got lots and lots to come yet. You see the back door here has finally opened. This one is a huge opportunity for the stone staff just spraying into the crowd. Uh, you don't even have to aim, just shoot that away and you're going to be piercing and hitting multiple enemies at the same attempts. Now, you know, obviously if you get that headshot, uh, that headshot range or that headshot aim dialed in and you're going to be in even better shape with uh, your results there. But we are just going to let these mobs push in, uh, CC them up right as they get uh, to the end of that first spike wall and things are going to start to run a lot smoother now as we've got a pretty decent little bit set up here. Now what else do we need to do to close the deal here on this one? We can go um, something like that just to add in even more traps and we're going to get this thing completely beast moded and then we're going to throw in a whole bunch of upfront damage just to start clearing some packs. All of the portals that spawn through the rest of the map, besides the one in wave six, are going to be outside of the kill box. So enemies that spawn from those portals are going to have to run through our kill box, which means they're just going to get handled. So we don't really have to worry about any of the portals other than these. Um, the barricades just got hit with elemental damage. My trap reset trinket is up. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop it and heal those guys up and uh, we'll be ready to go for when the next round of elementals get here. Uh, we got a big old mountain troll coming. We can get some shots in on the mountain troll. Uh, obviously, if I'm shooting up the mountain troll, I'm not piercing and hitting anything else, though. So we might be better off just to uh, keep things down at ground level and kind of thin the pack. At a minimum, knock off a few of the shields that come in Rift Lord mode. We'll drop another jar at the end of the pack and just let this mountain troll just get handled. Uh, if we keep them CC'd, it's just gonna get wrecked. So uh, no doubts there. We got lots of ogres. Uh, there's gonna be a ton of really, really heavy mobs here. So we're just gonna keep them all nice and bunched up right at the front of the kill box. And then we got tons of room back here for if we get pushed. Now, let's see, we still got a couple more waves, so we gotta worry about the, any sort of a last resort, which we don't even really have to worry about, I don't think, to be honest. Uh, but I'm gonna put something in just to help things out a little bit. So, if we come down here, we can go something like, say, we'll put a spike wall in, we'll get, um... We'll get a few uh, a few saw blade launchers in. In fact, we can just throw in a bunch of them, huh? And then before we get to wave six, we'll want to barricade across to make enemies come through the spike wall. But this is 100% not necessary. Uh, the rift is going to spawn right here in wave six, and you can completely handle everything on your own. So, I mean, that is just not needed in any way. 
Uh, to be honest with you, I think you may even be better off just going with the upfront damage, as it is just super easy just to burn through what's there with just your stone staff without having any real major issues. So same thing, rinse and repeat. We're going to run up to the ledge, keep everything CC'd as best as we can. We got our Mana Rage back up, our Trap Reset Trinket is up. We've got a Dynamite Archer, so let's just go ahead and uh, let this guy push in a little bit. As soon as you don't see the yellow dot on the mini-map anymore, you're safe. And uh, we can run on up. Now, we've got some Fire Elementals, so I'm going to let these guys blow up before I pop my Trap Reset Trinket. And uh, there we go. Let's go ahead and pop it. We'll heal all of these barricades right back up. And um, just wait for them to come to us. Like I said, these rifts that are opening are just a non-issue as enemies are are going to be all completely outside of the pathing of our kill box. So no worry whatsoever. Let's throw uh, some tar in right at the end. I think we can go with another little bit of saw blade launcher hell here, huh? Let's do that. We'll go one up, one down. Over here, we'll go uh, two up, so we don't have to worry about them getting caught up on those barricades. And um, I, mean, I just don't see anything else that needs to be done right here, other than, you know, obviously replace barricades as they get wrecked. But uh, 21 minutes left. Uh, we're part of the way through wave four, so just tons and tons and tons of time. Uh, let's just keep burning them. There is uh, lots of mobs, you know, there's some big, big, thick, heavy groups of mobs, no doubt. So, the part time, although it is quite generous, you're going to use a lot of it, you know. You will have a lot of time left on this one, but there is uh, there is plenty of bads to have to worry about killing. So, we got, uh, it looks like a Cyclops Mage right there, did I? No, it, it, the Cyclops Mage either died or it wasn't a Cyclops Mage at all. Uh, we will be getting some mages throwing their goo at us here before long, though, that's for sure. Alright, it's wave 5 now. I didn't bother to sell any of those. Uh, what do we want to do for upfront damage? Well, we've got a nice little area where the mobs are all running through right up here, where we could do the little saw blade launcher deal. Uh, something like, like this. And then, like this. They're going to bounce around. We'll throw... Um, Let's throw some tar. We'll throw a little brimstone, and then that will be handled there. Um, as you see, that portal is outside of our kill box, so we can completely ignore it. We got 1,400 more. I mean, what more do we want to do? Well, I mean, realistically, if you put the saw blade launchers at ground level like this, you can kind of spam them around, and you're just going to have saw blades bouncing all over the map, so... That alone would just provide just an absolute ton of upfront damage. Now, we can also choke off that backdoor entrance there, as there is a lot of enemies that come out of it. Uh, if we set something up there, let's see, let's go uh, something like that. We'll get some saw blades just bouncing around out there. That will take out quite a few uh, little orcs, uh, no doubt about it. The little babies. Well, just a little baby. But, uh, yeah. Rinse and repeat. Sit here, CC them up inside of the kill box, uh, preferably at the front of the kill box. Avoid all the range damage. Deal with the, the rifts that spawn behind your kill box. Uh, as you see, both of these rifts that just spawned are outside of our kill box as well, so nothing to worry about there. And we can actually come down and finish up our last resort a little, so we can go something like that. Something like that, that, and maybe even another brimstone. And then now we could actually ignore, yeah, we could ignore the portal back here, but I think I'll just use that kill box to help me kill things instead of just completely ignoring it because it is right at the beginning of the wave, so you'll have lots and lots of time there. Let's go ahead and drop another jar here. Get our stuns going off. How are our barricades doing? We got one that's really low. So let's go ahead and pop our trap reset trinket. Get all of those barricades healed back up. And uh, then we're going to be ready for these elementals as they come rolling on in. Yep, we are looking a good now, that's for sure. Now you see the little yellow dots on the minimap. So we do have some more splodiness coming our way. So I am just going to kind of chill back in the back here and just wait for enemies to push in. As soon as those yellow dots go away, then I'll get up there and get a little bit more aggressive again. 
But we've got such a kill box set up now where I think only an armored ogre could probably make the loop if we didn't do anything and just sat here and ignored it. Uh, obviously, we're not going to do that. We're going to keep them CC'd. Uh, we got the splodes rolling in again here. Let's go ahead and back it up and wait for those yellow dots to disappear on our mini-map. Uh, they're almost there. There's one down. And there is the other down. So now that those are out of the way, we can come on up, get a little bit more damage on whatever pushed through, and just keep on spraying it down. The Jar of Ghosts is your friend. Pop it whenever you see that it's available. It's never a bad time to pop a Jar of Ghosts. That is for certain. So uh, let's keep on burning them here. Mountain Troll down. We've got a few more, and we're going to be on the last wave. So I'll take advantage of the Stone Staff with the all of the orcs in a row, since they like to uh, stand all in a line, all nice and neat for me. That's very kind of them. And uh, just keep working that on back into the kill box. But so much upfront damage on them doing, the, doing it that way. By the time they get here, there's just not much left. Let's go ahead and keep these ogres CC'd, though. We got one more thick one coming in. And just a few mobs left, and we'll be on to wave six. Still 16 minutes left. So like I said, part time is quite generous. Uh, you have more than enough time to path the enemies around and make things happen. Now, what do we want to do? Well, let's get some saw blades pointed that way now. Um, let's do another one. We'll point one there. Anywhere else. I mean, I don't really feel the need to do any anywhere else, but we could go something like that. Get a little more upfront damage as the enemies come in. Uh, we will have that portal uh, opening up, that rift opening up right back here now. And I think we are just going to wreck them. Do I want some saw blade launchers there? Seems like such overkill. I I mean, I don't even feel like I'm going to use that kill box. I feel like I have to now. I bothered to build it. I bothered to put the stuff down here, so I might as well use it. So come on down, little bads. Come on in to our killing machine. We got dynamite archers in this pack. We got all kinds of baddies in here. Uh, let's come on down and get some heals, and we'll just keep spraying into them. Uh, like I said, this particular group is not a huge challenge. So it's like the worst thing there is those dynamite archers. Uh, once they are all down, the rift is now closed, and we can get right back into our kill box. And we see we've got some enemies that are pushed, not all the way through, but... They've gotten in a little ways, so we'll CC them up. Let's drop our Jar of Ghosts. How's our barricades looking? They're still all full, so we don't have to worry about uh, popping our Trap Reset Trinket quite yet. Uh, there's one took a little damage. Do we have more Elementals coming? There's another Elemental. We'll wait until after that one rolls through and blows up, and then we'll, uh, then we'll pop our heal on those barricades. So let's just burn them up at this point. And there is a Fire Lord. Let's get them all exploded. All right, now would be a good time. We'll pop it, heal those barricades back. And yeah, we're looking pretty schnazzy here. So we got what? We got a whole lot coming still. Look at the saw blade just bouncing around out here. That's good stuff. Let's do some more. Let's put, uh, we'll put one that way, one that way, one that way. Let's go another one that way. Let's just keep some saw blades bouncing around out front just for entertainment purposes. Uh, you see, they're getting some shots in. Those saw blades are putting in a little work. Now, they, obviously, it's not a very confined area, but uh, they're doing their best. They are doing their best to get some work in. Uh, we took a little dynamite archer action there. We want to watch those guys. But we're just about there. 13 minutes left. Um, we may not have the full 10 minutes left on this one, but we should be pretty close to it. Uh, having 10 minutes left over, so we've just got a beast a beast mode killing machine set up here in the back and I'm wondering if anything besides an armored ogre or a mountain troll could even make it through if you just sat here and watched uh, the mountain trolls of course are uh, gonna push in luckily they're getting knocked down by those spike walls oh they didn't even make it 
I'm sure Armored Ogres will. Maybe? No? So here, did we lose? We didn't lose a barricade yet, but we probably will. Um, you're almost always going to lose at least one barricade on this one. Uh, having the trap reset trinket where it's healing the barricades definitely helps. But just plan on losing them. Uh, as I mentioned at the beginning, we're gonna, we've are gonna we got a ton of coin left here. What do we do with it? I mean, anywhere we put it right now is basically just going to be completely unused and makes it a little bit on the pointless side. Um, how are we doing? We got our trap reset trinket back, so let's just heal them again. So maybe I lied. Maybe I'm not going to lose a barricade. Uh, normally, I, I'll lose one or two, but it's looking pretty good. Let's just uh, spray them down, CC them up. And we should get our five skulls in pretty easy fashion here on this one. That is for certain. We got a big old mountain troll rolling in. We got a regular ogre there. What else do we have? We have no armored ogres. There's several mountain trolls in the pack there, but they're getting handled pretty well. Let's see a regular ogre. Yeah, it looks like this is it. it looks like we have uh, got it. So we're going to have 11 minutes. Wow, more uh, more time left over than I expected. Lots of coin laying, no skulls laying around though. And that is the finale of the main campaign and my Rift Lord five skull story playthrough. So thank you all so, so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to click that like button. Please subscribe to the channel and I will be back soon with some more Orcs Must Die 3. Thanks again, y'all, and I will see you next time around. Take it easy.